all right welcome and we're back for another video in the technical lab and i'm here mr hamilton now for the last video we looked at we drew an ellipse and we constructed that ellipse using the rectangular method so it was the rectangle method that we used in constructing that ellipse now today what we want to do is we're going to construct an ellipse using the auxiliary circle method now with this method i'm just gonna be drawing two circles right one representing the major and the other representing the minor axis of our ellipse so i'm gonna go ahead with my start line now bear in mind that the length of the minor axis is 70 millimeter and the length of the major axis is 120 millimeters like the previous ellipse that we did i'm going to now draw my vertical line now because the length of my minor axis is 70 millimeters i'm going to open my compass to 35 millimeters and that would be the radius of my circle for my minor axis okay now let's draw the circle for our major axis and remember now the length of my major axis is 120 millimeters so then i'm just going to open my compass to a radius of 60 millimeters All right, great. So now I have my two circles. Next, I want uh, the larger circle, which is, represents my major axis. I'm going to divide it into 12 equal parts. How I do so, I am going to set my compass to the radius of my circle and scribe an arc. On this side, scribe an arc to this side. And I'm going to go to each one of these quadrant points and scribe an arc on the circle. Oh, also, before I forget, let me just go ahead and label these points. So we have point A, point B, point C, and point D. Now I'm going to label these points 1, 2, all right great now i'm going to be joining my points to divide my circle into 12 equal parts so using my set square i'm just going to go ahead and line up at point 11 running through the center to five I'm going to do the same from 1 running through to 7. Alright, so now we have all our points and our circle is divided into 12 equal parts. We're going to go right ahead now and we are going to join our locus points. How do we do so? First, we start by constructing some vertical lines where our dividing lines meet that inner circle that represents our minor axis so these horizontal lines they are drawn parallel to our line c d
all right great now that we have our horizontal lines and these lines as i said they are drawn on the smaller circle and they run horizontally parallel to our line dc next we are going to draw in our vertical lines So our vertical lines, they come from each one of these points um, numbered and they are going to actually meet with the horizontal lines that we drew. So from point 8, I'm going to draw a vertical line. That gives me my first point. Point 7. All right, so now we have all our locus points. I'm just going to go ahead and brighten each point with a dot. Now, the next step is I am going to be using my French curve and I am going to join all these points to form my ellipse. All right, great. So we used our French curve to join all our locus points and now we have our ellipse. So that's it, guys. We used the auxiliary circle method just now to construct our ellipse. See you next time.